Hey everyone, it's day two of Dark Visions. We're gonna start with the Fire Wind Magical stage. It's Plant Boss. So, oops, wrong order. Let's move to the Fire tab. This is the team we'll be using. Um, you probably are familiar with Shadow and Xon by this point, just two weapons. On both of them. Make sure Xorn has his TMR or Super Trust Master equipped so he can triple cast. No Gion Luis, no Gion Aerith. And uh, Ling has the only things Ling needs is Dragon's Brush, Advanced Memory, and Call of the Wild. It's not even necessary now that I think of it because this is a plant boss. I uh, this being a plant boss means I should go Bulwark. I forgot about that. Uh, let me just quickly fix this. Because Bulwark has plant kill on him. Uh, that's the wrong Bulwark. There we go. That's the correct one. So a Brave Shift. All we need are three items. So it's Dragon's Brush, obviously. Call of the Wild. Dragon. Brush. Call of the Wild. Come on, game. Let's do his TMR for whatever. I don't know if it's necessary or not. I, I totally forgot what his, or what their TMR bonus is, but Call of the Wild. Advanced Weaponry, and that's it. With that, we can secure Advanced. We can secure their killer buff on turn one. And Angela is here for DPS. Uh, this is the gear she's using. Uh, plant killer. She's at 275 plant, 300 LB. Looking good. And let's go. Oh, vision card. I forgot the vision card. And she's using the Trials of Mana vision card, obviously. Let's go. This is going to be a fairly easy clear. Now the upside of Angela is, I, I'm imagining that this boss has vines as well, yep. So all the couple vines, those may or may not be an issue, but it shouldn't. So Aerith is going to double cast, we will do Ardent Prayer, it's only 280 buffs, but it's more than enough, and wish to save the planet for the, um, uh, for the 35% Imperil, uh, yeah, Imperil 2. Rods. Louise is going to fire starter, heavy fire power, incapacitate, and a power boost. So we can do all the nasty things to the boss. Imperil, etc., etc., etc. Angela is going to limit. Uh, Bulwark is going to plant killer. Actually, does Bulwark have a better stat buff? I don't think he does, right? No, 250 only. That's fine. So, Plant Killer on Bulwark. Assassin Shadow. And... Xon will AR, double SR. On the main body. And that'll be it. Uh, AR, double SR. Alright. And as per usual, we're going to have to start with Angela here, wait for a couple of seconds until the huge meteor shows up, and then send in the rest. So let's wait, wait, send, and the fight is over. Yeah, Angela kept this in multiple ways. 40 billion, which is to, to be expected, we have four targets, each one of them got hit for 9.99 .99 billion. Very straightforward. Yep. There we go. Now, what to do if you don't have Angela? You could use um, a Provoke tank, I suppose. Do the same with Terra and then finish off each vine individually, I guess. This should be working as well. All right. And if you guys do have actually trouble with this, let me know, and I'll I might make a video. Let's see. But I don't think this is any trouble whatsoever. Okay, so we're gonna repeat. I should have shifted area. 
So let's do the same again. All right. And wait, wait for all of this to finish. Send Angela. Let's wait. Send. And there we go. Another 40 billion in the back. Yep, looking good. All right, next one is the physical stage of ice and something, something, ice water, I believe. Yep, ice water. I prepared a water team for this. So let's move to the water team using my favorite unit Sky. So Xon and Shadow are the same. Lang, because the boss is a Reaper this time around. Lang has Dragon's Brush, Advanced Weapon Recall of the Wild, nothing else, no vision card. No gear on Cacteria, no gear on Nicole. Uh, I don't think, or should I give him his TMR? Yeah, I'm just gonna give him his TMR bonus, just to be sure. Sky base form starts in base form for full LB gauge with TMR. Brave Shift um, is wearing a fist for the fist in peril of Cacteria. Other than that, max attack, as you can see, she easily, easily, easily caps. Um, LB and Reaper Killer, 300%. I missed the mark on the attack percent, but who cares? It's just 3%. Let's go and finish this fight in one turn. Okay, Cacteria is going to uh, Sacred Oasis. We don't even need Sacred Oasis as we're going to LB with Nicole anyway. Thorny teamwork for the 40% Fist in Peril. And uh, Armor Breaking Needles for the 89% Break. Oh, Nicole starts in Break Shift. Anyway, decent too. So we'll limit with Sky. Link's gonna give us Reaper Killer. Uh, now we go. And we're gonna repeat, oops, AR, double SR. I know, super exciting, isn't it? <laughs> AR, double SR. All right, send, send Sky. Fight is over. Yeah, Sky dealt 9.99 billion with each hit. I like Sky. She's my favorite unit. The Sprite and Brave Shift is plain awesome. There we go. Obviously, if you don't have Sky, use Sephiroth, use Zidane, use Tifa. I mean, Tifa is great for this as well, but you're gonna make her LB, Brave Shift LB work somehow, which I believe could be. Uh, a lot of trouble, because it has weird frames. All right, let's repeat. That was fun. Let's see if uh, Sky can repeat a nine, double 9.99 billion. Shift Ling. Shift Sky. And let's do the same thing. Okay, send, send, yep, double 9.99 billion on Sky once again. And that is pretty much it for today, I guess. Super exciting, these old Dark Vision formats, they are really unexciting, to be honest. Yeah. There we go. And that is it for today. On Monday, we'll get the more exciting stuff, especially with the final boss. Um, I do have to work on Monday until 2 p.m. CET, meaning uh, my videos will be a little bit late, but I'll prepare my team so I don't lose that much time. Anyway, thank you all for watching. See you all tomorrow for 
some video. I don't know what, which one yet, but there will be one. See you then. Bye-bye.